And I don't even think we need R to fight another. Nope. Hmm, something's fishy. Hey guys, I'm Shark. We're back doing a how to play Vayne ADC where we're going to be going over. No, 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 no. Thrush, where we're go going to be going over how to play the early, mid, and late game, how to team fight, when to split push, hook. Yep. Too easy. I wish I got the kill. And uh, yeah, carry every single one of your games. So like usual, if you enjoy, find it helpful. Smash the like, comment, subscribe, and uh, those are the runes you take. Pretty standard stuff. Nimbus Cloak to kill you when you heal or flash and press the attack because it synergizes really well. Yeah, we are not. Oh my. Okay. It synergizes really well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is sloppy. This is sloppy now. You have to smite it. With your three auto attack combo, smite it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're headed bot. But we got we got good momentum. And we should be able to get uh, 3CS. <sighs> advantage? Okay, 3CS in XP advantage. Because we didn't actually take the CS. But, uh, Thresh, let's lane, and like usual, the build you go on Vayne is Blade of the Rune King, Rage Blade, uh, Phantom Dancer, and then Infinity Edge. That's like the most standard thing you could do, and it has the highest win rate right now. You either max, max the W, you could, honestly, it's, it's, it's situational. But you could either max the W, put three points into your Q, then max W. Right? Put three points into your W, then max Q. This game, I think I'm going to put... I'm just going to... I'm just going to max the Q because it gives us a powerful early game. And that's what we want. Go for a hook. Had to dash back. Oh, nice, 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 Thresh. And we probably can't kill the Misfortune, but having a one for nothing trade is good. Late game, we kind of counter the Misfortune. Because, um, yeah, we just E whenever she R's, and then that's the end of that. Vayne right now. Wait, who, who's coming? Oh, there's the Evelyn. No. Oh, wow, I griefed that. I literally thought she was going to E or walk that way and that would pin her against the wall there, but eh, it's okay. It's okay. Two long swords, two potions, and a vision ward. So that will indeed give us the strongest early game possible. Uh, we have heal flash. I think they do too. Yeah, Leona didn't burn anything. Not the ignites, none of that. No, what the? I'm cheesed. Okay. We're just gonna have to farm this under tower. Our damage really starts to ramp up as soon as we start picking up some attack speed. Using the Q to farm under tower. Thank you, Thresh. And we got like 7 out of 8 there, so... I shall take that. Okay. See, if you used your relic on that, that would have been splendid, mate. Okay. Yikes. Thanks for the lantern. No, I literally want one kill, please. Nice roam, though. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Alright. I will I kind of misplayed that. I botched that, but I knew the vein uh the LeBlanc was coming, so that's why I, I, I try to make a dumb player right there. So they thought they would get a pick, but in reality, the LeBlanc was roaming. So it's really these these 200 IQ plays you gotta look out for. And uh Yeah, since they're shoved up, it's easy claps. Uh, what do we have? 
Okay, we don't have a CS lead yet. Not right now. But after this wave... Literally, just stand in front of me. So that way the Leona can't E. Literally. All you have to do... You botched it, man. You actually botched the fight. But things work out because, well, we're a duo team, I guess. And Evelyn can't do much because we semi-set her behind early game. And are we looking for a river play? Oh, wait a minute. We're going drag. No, I wanted that. But they still got drag. Rip. Mm. Uh, the LeBlanc's like really fed. So that's good. Let him take that. We are level 6, so our 1v1 potential is definitely there. But once we get one item... I'm just going to try to E them away, but you're probably dead. Oh, wait, you flashed. Little peel peel. Okay, I have no mana either. We can reset. Pick up Cutlass and then I think two daggers. Yeah, seems good. R is up. Thrash. I actually just engaged that. No joke. Oh, I mean, you have Mobies. Now you're pretty slow since they attacked you. Can you lantern me in on that? No, 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 no. It's all good. Just try to freeze. You get the vibe. And then try to go for, like, an aggressive Q on the Misfortune. We have many ways to disrupt. Uh... Yeah. Just kiting out positioning. Gets you. Or wins you fights. We completely dodged the Misfortune's ultimate. And on top of that. Yeah, we just put ourselves in really good situations where we can tank all their damage. We have enough. For Blade of the Rune King, so we want to reset because that's our power spike. And we don't know where the Evelyn is. Nice. Now, in the 1v1 situation, it's like a guarantee win no matter who we play against now. But especially after Rage Blade, our on hit effect will be insane. And then by the time we get Rage Blade, our W will most likely be maxed. I'm just Eing out of range of the Leona's E. Or Qing. And we're just. Yeah, stomping. It doesn't even matter if we get ganked. Oh, nice one. Nice one, Thrash. That was a really good Q. But now we want to amp up the aggression. Because, well, we have Blade of the Rune King. And as you could see, we deal damage. So that gank didn't go as planned because, well, what are they supposed to do? No. Oh. What I tried to do was um, auto attack E, and then that would have Proctor W to hopefully execute the Leona even under her tower, but we missed an auto. All right, now we're maxing W. Get that. Drag is up in 25, so we're resetting. And when we come back, we're going to take that. First, we're going to get attack speed boots, though. Because, well, utility purposes with the movement speed. And, I mean, it's attack speed, so. Of course. 
careful now. <sighs> We're trying to play around drag. Right? But the LeBlanc died and got caught, so that's a rip. You got that? You got that? Come on, Thrush. Nah, you can't. I mean, I say go for it. Because, like, we're winning right now, and they can't contest. It's probably warded in there. Lantern me over. Okay, we have to flash out. I did not expect the Evelyn to be there. Literally, if the Evelyn wasn't there, we would have quite easily 2v1 that. But yeah, now we have to lifesteal off these minions. That's the Trinomir's TP. And this is, oh, a dangerous fight to take, huh? Okay. Fight back. Double kill for the LeBlanc. And we could chase that. I'm literally getting creep blocked by my own teammates. Insane. Good job, LeBlanc. Triple kill for you. And then, what is it? Right now, 6.6% .6 true damage. Once we get three points in, I think it's uh at 10. So yeah, let's reset. And then start building towards uh, Gwenzu's Rage Blade. Back bot. They're trying to defend mid. If they're trying to defend mid, we're taking bot. So either way, we get a tower. And honestly, I feel like Thrush can go mid. And then we could 1v1 or 1v2 whoever comes bot. I think this is enough to take tower. Nope. Leon is here. And Thrush is nowhere to be seen, so we have to be very careful. Especially if the Evelyn comes, but... I think that's tower. Uh, player in. There we go. Legendary. Thanks for tanking the tower, Thrash. You know what you're doing. And there goes bot. Very good stuff. Rift this place top. Top is probably gone. We're going to clear this. And then look to take mid. Because, yeah, bot tower. It's got enough defense to hold. So yeah, shove that in, and then look to go mid. Oh, uh, can you tower die? Wow. Nice one. Okay, we're going to reset. Actually, I want the gold from tower. And a little bit from these minions. I'll take that. Appreciate it. And do we have enough? Oh, we're so close. So close to have enough for uh, Rage Blade. Oh, shoot. I don't think I have to pop the R. We don't have enough damage. Mmm. Someone here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. There was no one here. Oh, there's the Evelyn. I thought someone was going to try to cheese me there. But it seems we were in the clear. Alright, now we have enough for Rage Blade. Now. Now. We do have... Rage Blade, which means that we're going to keep up this split push game. And, uh... In theory... We should carry. 
carry the next fight and the next fight after that yeah we're up CS and items ooh Evelyn you got caught can I make it there well I mean a you kind of put yourself in that situation <laughs> Okay. Let's clear bot. I think they've got their themselves situated. Most likely. But the Leona shuts down the... Uh, the LeBlanc. That's... that's uh, Pretty interesting. The LeBlanc. Alright team. Let, let me take this tower. And then I can go mid. With Rage Blade, every two. Yeah, as you can see, every two auto attacks, procs are on hit, active. And we're just slowly but surely trying to shred their towers. And if anyone comes, it should be an easy 1v1. Can we prove how strong Vayne is? Oh, yeah. We queued out of his E range. And our R is now prolonged. Since we got a kill that resets. And I don't even think we need R to fight another. Nope. But, uh, yeah, we got this. We got this in the bag. The vein skills too hard mid game, and we're popping. Phantom Dancer and then uh, Infinity Edge buy. That's what you generally want to do. We're grouping topside since we took everything bought. And I, uh, the Teemo just destroyed the Trinomir because he didn't get enough uh, ganks early. Oh, they forfeit. GG well played like usual. If you enjoyed, found it helpful, smash the like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell, and I'm out.